You know, we're definitely speaking about the violence that happens in the black community. And when we was out doing the outreach, there was a young man that Brother Derek Muhammad had spoken to about a murder that happened the day prior for us getting there to the place called Cullen Park Apartments. Now, this apartment complex is what you would call a ghetto low income housing, whatever word you want to use drugs are sold there. People are shooting people there, prostitution, just things that should not be going on in an apartment complex or anywhere for a person to live. Well, then we're going to roll the clip of what this man described the account. Basically, like I said, he was supposed to knuckle up, you know, man up. Most of these young cats can't take no air, so, you know, he pulled a gun out, they got the popping at the dude. Regardless of what his lifestyle was beforehand, at that moment, they were supposed to fall. And like I said, if you live over here and your kids are supposed to be, like, you know, your kids out here playing, you were supposed to pop it up for even shooting around your kids, though. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, your kid could have got hit by a straight bullet just like the man who got killed got hit and then it was a child that got hit yesterday you know what i'm saying you know, a child got hit too yeah that's why i heard somebody told me two people yeah, got killed was a, no, but, no but one got killed and, and the one, child got and hit. one got shot in the arm how old was the child that got hit? i don't know anywhere between six and 13. and see that's what i was just telling you about chicago texas this is just as bad as chicago but you're not gonna hear as much about the little child that got shot as you're gonna hear about the one that got shot in i mean on the news i just seen that they gave like a little brief hey somebody got shot in cullen park we don't got no lead on the suspect and i mean the, the whole uh, session was over with like they just came over here shot that shit and got the fuck up out of here i mean they left the man sitting on the ground for i don't know how long before they even took his body i'm uh -huh. Then the law man run up, he ain't even checking his post. He automatically dead on arrival. I'm, yeah. I mean, even if the man was dead on arrival, check the man's post. Treat him like a human being, man. These people ain't, people ain't shit. And then the rest of these people want to come around here, like the little young dude come around here with a gun, right when the law is right there. You come with a whole extended clip. Why you come with a whole extended clip? Nigga, that was dumb. If you wanted to give justice for your partner, fight it the other way. You don't see these white people, they people getting killed, and then they come out here acting crazy with guns? Hell no, nah, they're going to take it to court, and if they don't take it to court, that's when they're going to you know, try to come get you. But at the end of the day, you got to fight it the right way before you try to fight it stupidly. You know, you got to get around these things because it's a loophole and everything. These white people got this shit designed so they win, not us. And until people understand that, until we unify, and like I say, not two or three people, but everybody put their guns down, this shit ain't gonna never be the same. And that's what it's gonna take, brother. We gotta unify. We gotta realize, brother, that at the end of the day, we all we got. But everybody got that diabolical spirit in them as far as like being in low income, because I mean, it's the Willie Lynch syndrome, you know? I mean, you put them in a low income place and you, you deprive them of the shit that they really need and then after a while, they gonna start killing one another for the shit that they want. I mean, at the end of the day, you just got to get out here and get it your own. I mean, that's the type of lifestyle they live, but you got to teach it. You got to teach your children different. That's really what it's all about. We are already old. We are already getting old. So, I mean, it's all about the example that we set for them. And supposedly black people are supposed to not be the minority as Mexicans. So what type of example are we setting for the Mexicans and white people setting an example for us? Regardless of how we look at these people, or oh, they evil, they this, they that. You don't see these people out here killing one another. Not like that. Not, like that. Not, not as much as us black people are doing. So what type of example are we setting for the minorities now? What? Now that we middle class. Yeah. Brother, you got a message, brother. Make sure you don't keep it to yourself. Oh, no, nah, I ain't keeping it to myself. I, I, know you I, I acknowledge, I mean, I, I basically like bring it to the people that I hang around attention. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? But I mean, if I need to come speak, I'll come speak. But I study Hebrew Israel like though. I mean, you know, it's first cousin. Everybody yeah, consciousness Hebrew. Consciousness is consciousness. Yeah, for real, for real. Consciousness though. is consciousness. Yeah, whatever, great minds whatever, think alike. Whatever's going to elevate the hood from one level to the next, we got to bring it, bro. Yeah, we really do. And we can't do it separately. No, we can't. You said it earlier. <laughs> Unity, bro. We got to do it together. For real, for real. Pleasure to meet nice you, brother. To meet Rashad, bro. Nice to meet you, brother. As I looked around, I saw children in this environment and I was, didn't see any kind of adult supervision whatsoever. But I saw this little girl because she was paying attention to us. So I wanted to ask her a question. Let me go that short clip. Do, do, do you get scared when you hear people shooting guns? Yes. You do? Why, why, uh, you scared something's gonna happen sometime? I'm not scared. That's, that's bad. Okay, well thank you. You see, this is the reason why we got to take an aggressive approach 
to stopping the violence in our community. You know, when Minister Farrakhan was talking about the 10,000 fearless men to get in between the guns in the black community, it's kind of hard to not support that one because we're having people get killed all the time right here in Houston. I was told uh, yesterday that those apartments on the other side had 27 people got killed just this year right here in Houston. But they do a little bit better than covering things up. They don't have 400 murders like Chicago, but still the loss of human life by savages is something that we have to talk about. See, there are people within our community that's trying to get out here to talk to these people, to get them to stop doing this and trying to do everything you can for the love of the community. Don't believe what people say that black people don't say anything about the crime and we only say things about uh, racism. Now, some of our groups, some, not all, kind of focus on that, but you see there are people every day within the black community is trying to get out here to make some change because this stuff really has to stop. I mean, that little girl is not too much older than, you know, my little girl. So it's just amazed me how children could be put in this kind of environment. Then I read the reviews in those apartments. They say they have roaches everywhere. They say the rats are like puppies, trash everywhere. Uh, which I did see that. I mean, how could people live like this and the inv owners of these properties are to blame? Because I looked at who's the owner of Cullen Park Apartments and all it stated was it just said Cullen Park Apartments gave an address in Lancaster, Texas. And it's just a blank piece of land. They didn't put the real address, but they gave a phone number for a man. You see, these people want to hide and own this stuff and don't care about drugs being sold. All they want to do is collect the money from the government and pad their pockets. Every time you look up these uh, low income places as slums and ghettos, they're owned by people and they're trying to hide it. But we have to learn to, in our community, find out who own these places and go after them. We need to go after them legally bring lawsuits against them because the things that's going on in these apartments is not right at all. And it don't matter if you're low income, you should not be subjected to living conditions like this. And this stuff is just utterly sad, but if we have to get out in the community and see what's going on so we can try to fix our own problems. As I stated once again, it's nobody else's responsibility to fix our problems, but us. Hit me up in the comments, future commentaries, subscribe.